When we talk about engineering in the new product development process, there's a couple facets, mainly mechanical engineering and electrical engineering. It's really important for us that both teams work together very closely to create a finished product. And that's what we do here is both teams are side by side working on the same product. Electrical engineering is one of the more mysterious types of engineering. We get a lot of questions on it because it's really hard to understand what you're looking at if you've never seen schematics and Gerber files and all those detailed types before. So what we do is we make actual files. Whenever we design something, we make real samples and we make sure that they work and they're testable. And we use these in parallel with our mechanical design team and our design engineers to make sure that they fit, they're the proper sizes, and they work into that nice form factor that we've already designed. With our mechanical engineers and our electrical engineers working side by side, we can ensure that there's space and the form factor of these PCBs and where the battery's gonna go all works together. We get rid of that back and forth and that miscommunication that generally happens when you're outsourcing multiple places together. We'd like to give you a quick overview of how we work through our electrical engineering design process. We like to start what we call a mock-up or discovery phase. So we're using open source uh, kits, development boards, and sample boards that we can get from suppliers to test out new features and to really define what type of technology needs to be used in your product. Once we make those determinations and we know uh, what chips set and what battery capacities and all those details, we can utilize development boards and open source boards again to, to make a finished mock-up. And this is a breadboard format, it's a little bit big, it's a little bit ugly, it's not packaged well. But this has all the functionality and allows us to fine tune our algorithms and all our parameters to really make sure that this is the right path. Once we have all that done and that's ready to go and we're happy with the performance, we can then do a finalized layout and turn that into a production ready board that can be done on an SMT and a mass production line. 